Detective Bob Kozlowski, Detective Denise Maguga. Not the hour right here. What unit are you with? The homicide, Bob. And she's starting with the best. Sir? Thanks for the bushwhack. The difference here, as opposed to cases that you've worked on during your many years of major crime and sexual assault, our victim can't talk. So if the crime scene doesn't, we're in a lot of trouble. I was only trying to be positive. I'm trying to. That's good. Then we're both in agreement. She's just handing the package. We gotta keep our eye on that package. We need chain of evidence. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Eventually, I always find out. Something about Savo you don't particularly like. Yeah, yeah. You asking me if he killed his wife? I heard homicide. Didn't mind specifics. We also go on instinct. Two hours earlier, I'd heard my wife was dead. Can't you leave? He's not gone through enough. That's not our problem. You'll be the first guy to love his wife and kill her for trying to leave him. Guy confessed to the killing. His name? Smith. Troy Smith. You no, know a person named Troy Smith. Troy Smith. Guy who shot your wife. Yeah. We're looking for Troy Smith. We've got you bragging of doing the killing. Carries the hint of uh, what? Sex? I don't know, does it? Petrovich. That's not Polish. Serbian. What do you think? They wake up one morning, look at the CN Tower, suddenly all the bad blood goes away? Tell you what, detectives, if I were you, I'd start asking Croats. Hurt himself, he was shot. They found that Croat shit standing there. You know what this is? It's a doll for a gypsy curse. What kind of curse? Go ask a gypsy. Or a Serb. It's probably for death. This isn't Bosnia. Okay. We're stopping the interview at 2.11 p.m.